Hey everybody, Steven here, back playing Hades. Um, played one, or did one video on this um, about a week ago, and I've actually been doing a bunch of playthroughs on my own just to kind of learn everything a little bit more, and this game is far, far more complex than I thought it was in a good way, right? There's just a lot that, that is going on with it that's really, really interesting, and they update it actually pretty regularly, which is another cool thing. I mean, the 24th we had a an update, right? We got patch notes here, and it just tells you all this stuff that they're adding into it. They even added a new um, character, right? So I think this actually gets into some of the other updates that we have here. Yeah, so they add they update this pretty regularly. But let's go ahead and get into this. <clears throat> so. We got a new area open, but once you die, you come back here. So we talked about this being like dead cells in that regard. Um, now it's about your interactions with other characters, which I don't have one with him right now. Your interactions with your dad. Um, but right here, renovate. You can actually use like these rubies that you get to update stuff right and it seems like that will actually give you more information and actually do certain things for with you right <clears throat> right here um, chambers with uh, may contain urns with five coins in it like these things are going to affect go gameplay right and then as I play longer and longer and collect more things and level up and all these other things um, it actually unlocks more and more for for me it seems like every single playthrough which is interesting let's see West Hall lounge bed chambers and some of this stuff as you can see here is just cosmetic I did get this today contains faint traces of the past if you look closely and then music. The other thing is we actually have like this bar open now. So I finally was able to beat the Forgetting Mar Mara, something like that. This um, is not here. And talk to different people. You can actually come over here and trade in things now. I've come for questionable deals. Right? So things that you can trade in for other things. And I did finally get one diamond, which is like the second boss that you face. It was difficult. Another thing is if you hold down the left shoulder button here, you actually learn more through your interactions. So it's an incentive to not only talk to the characters, but you're going to have to literally play through, die, come back, and then talk to them again. Right? All these different characters. Certain ones too, and this was another one. I found one uh, portal in one area, it took me to chaos, and that was an interesting just interaction. So, like I said, there's there's more to this game than I thought. A lot more. Anybody that has a heart, I've given them uh, nectar, and they've shared more info with me, and then they've usually given me something in response to that. Olympian gods here, and we have one undiscovered. And these all correlate to the different um, kind of like power-ups they give you as you play through. So there's a strategy element to this with who you're choosing, what chamber you're going into, things like this. You learn more as you defeat these guys more and more, right? Some of them you need to defeat a lot. I have to, I have to slay 209 weapons that we have. I've been using the Eternal Spear. It's really, really good. And then Artifacts. Which, uh, Palm of Power, that was one of those things I didn't realize. Um, it upgrades whatever ability you have. Keys used for different things. Titan Blood used for different things. Gemstones, that's what it was. Diamonds, Nectar, and then I have two Undiscovered here. But let's go ahead and go to my bedchamber here. So this is the pool deal that I have. Escape the Temps, 7, Foe Slayed, 1066. Looking at my reflection is where we can use our... I don't know what they are. Uh, rubies or whatever whatever they may be that you can upgrade stuff, right? 
which I have 60, and this really is, you can use keys to unlock things. And I think we're actually going to go with this one right here. Let's go with thick skin. There we go. And we can slowly get all of these, right? So this is where we're upgrading. So each pass, I'm stronger and stronger and stronger, right? Death defiance right here. That's every time you go through right now, I can die once and then it basically brings me back to life, right? There's so many correlations with this, like, with dead cells in that regard. Um, I did sleep finally. You can sleep here, rest, and it actually queued another part of the story, so you find out who this character's mom is, which is interesting. Like I said, more in-depth than I thought it was going to be. Looking at certain things, I have the spear here, but this, it gives me twenty uh, an increase of 20% more of our... Let's see if I can... Let's see what the codex says. Of the darkness here. There we go. So, 20% more darkness the shield. I haven't unlocked this yet. just don't want to mess with it. And it looks like we're going to have two more weapons over time. But let's go back through. I made it through the level after this, and then I got to the third one and then died. The second boss is rough. Alright. They have, these are all randomized, you have rare and epic ones that'll pop up with this. Um, you have to be mindful of what is this doing also, because you can see on the, the left side here, um, you may be replacing one with another one if you actually get it. Um, so, choosing these wisely, where, well, where you're going to go in terms of your path, and, and this is the strategy part. Do we want to go for keys or for darkness? Do we need to go because I need more um, kind of like power-ups like we're looking at right here? Um, there's a bunch of different elements to this, and it's different every single time you play, which is really, really cool. What I can tell you is anytime you can get something that has, uh, what is it, like deflect, get that because it'll shoot certain things that um, enemies are shooting at you, it'll send that back to them. So, I'm we'll just go with the special here. The ocean's fury. <coughs> and that's it. Each time the prince delves back into the underworld, its ever-shifting chambers realign to frustrate his attempts to maybe map it out. And there we go. That's what they're talking about. sure no one gets out. We'll see about that. All right. This staff, by the way, is really good. All right, we've got darkness. So, looking around each chamber, you have to be mindful of what's here. Because you have some, and it was one of the things that initially, I either didn't notice it wasn't just there yet. Because there's, I think, two or three passes that you do, and then you slowly start getting, like, to the core of the game, right? One of them is this right here, right? Do we want to descend? 21 life. <clears throat> it's going to take us to chaos. There we go. She looks cool. He, she, I don't know. Uh, they look really, really cool. <laughs> so, for the next three encounters, you face 35 afterwards. No. Boom. So, for this one, it's like, hey, for the next X amount of encounters, this is going to be harder, but if you make it through this, you'll get something better. <clears throat> Let's do this one. And then, oh, more darkness. As long as you got that dash, it'll be good. Using the environment to your benefit also, super important. 
So if we destroy certain things or get these guys to actually step on some of the platforms that shoot spikes or shoot late, whatever it may be. There we go. Um, that's just part of the strategy that goes into this. And that's the, the point the part of this that I've really, really enjoyed is just every time it's different, how I strategize is different. I get further and further. But I'm also saving up, just like Dead Cells, for bigger and bigger, better items. Oh, dang it. Here we go. So this is something I'll come to here in a little bit, but it's locked. But those are the things that you're looking for in the rooms now. Because, ah, oh, dang it. We can get more health. We can pay for things, essentially, with the coin that we've earned. Uh, dig it, I don't want that. I want this. I'm short of coin. I know. Bummer. Uh, that. So this right here, if you proceed this way, this is to actually go buy stuff. So keep that in mind. Alright, let's just go get more darkness. Now I do have it so that I get three health for every time I leave a chamber, or clear a chamber. All right, let's see what you got. Who else? So, timing your dash is super important. Whether or not that does damage or not. So here we go. Opening codex. Darkness. And it's literally like giving you, you're unlocking more information, which is just the bold right there as you progress through this. That's super cool. Um, Born of Chaos, the underworld is a domain of pure and utter darkness. Sometimes this darkness, this dark essence becomes manifest through all the raging of the dead and all the strife that can unfold beneath the earth and there are those born of this realm who can absorb that essence gaining oneness with the underworld growing stronger all the while and I need more <laughs> <coughs> so nothing in here can't wait till I unlock the deal where like you can potentially get coin from that all right lightning Zeus <coughs> This, these guys suck. You have to be super mindful of... What else? Their attack right there. There it is. Alright, Zeus. So you are some to Hades by that Nyx, the great goddess. Is that correct, nephew? Well, I suppose she's closest to a queen as your lord fathers like to find down there. I tried to match him up with some more wholesome types, but no. And here we are. That's part of the story that I unlocked by resting. Like I said, you find out who his mom is. Alright. Ooh. After you take damage, your foe is struck by lightning. I like that. Your call. That's your special. Your call. Ooh. I like anything that affects my dash. Alright. Aries. Let's go Aries. <coughs> Dash I use so much, which is why I do that. Yep, see how he stepped on that platform? So if you trick him into doing stuff like that, it can be to your benefit. Certain things, like right now when he doesn't have his, like, shield on, right? Oh, dang it. Um, you can essentially trap them in certain instances and he won't be able to attack you at all you can see the lightning hit them there that's what I love like I said any type of additional attack on dash is really good all right Ares Alright, so you can see here we got rare. I always like this one. 
bonus damage. This is a good one too. Uh, let's go here first. We don't need the special just yet. Uh, let's go this way. I think the symbol, by the way, of the I showed the little enemy head underneath the darkness there. I think that means that these guys are all going to be specials. The other thing with this too that I noticed is it can actually destroy when they have those projectiles that my other weapon wasn't. Oh man, I'm not doing so hot. There we go. The underworld's power. Uh, I just need a key. Should get the plus three, no. Alright. Ooh. Oh, dead the fight, dang it. I'm not gonna make it uh, very far this this go around. anything that can help me. And there's... I think there might be one other thing that we can go to. Table that we can go to. Dang it. And then there's one after you clear a level where you can actually trade in any of these power-ups you've gotten for coin and then you can use that coin for stuff like I said very much similar to dead cells even with that regard you're in between So the way the, I mean they, they mentioned it with that one deal, but with the way the levels work is you're going to start to see the same, like, sections, rooms, oh dang it, this, that are other the same, but the order that they're in is different. It's like puzzle pieces, right? Our shop. Boom. On, mate. Now this guy didn't say anything. And I don't have any nectar to give it to anybody. Alright. Oh, this is it. I don't think we're gonna make this. I don't have. Yeah, no way, because I don't have my uh, revive. Oh, come on. This timing. Finding, understanding the timing has is, is been interesting. Oh, 
Oh, dang it. Saving up for this chick. Oh, that was a waste. Oh, come on. Uh, she hasn't done the floor thing yet. Ah, oh, man. Yep, I'm dead. Ah, oh, that sucks. So that would be a bad playthrough. <laughs> Lost that too early. Usually I need that for her. Damn you, Meg. Now as we go back through though, I have more darkness. What are those shades muttering about? Uh, but you'll have somebody to talk to every single time. How's your endless toil treating you? Um, Mr. Hypnos, do you maybe think that you could, you know, keep an eye on the procession line before Lord Hades, like you were supposed to? Oh, um, that's no problem. I can definitely do that. I'll just add it to the list. Um, good, then. Glad we had the chance to chat. Now, maybe get some sleep or something. You look pretty beat. Get on it, Hypnos. Good. I ought to spend some of these gems. Happen to know whom I should thank for the weapons just outside my chambers, Achilles? I'm sure I wouldn't hurt. Though if I happen to run into them, I'll let them know. And so there, there it is. Like I said, you talk to these people, you learn new things. I see you've decided to come home. Changed your mind yet? Or looking for more pain and suffering? More pain and suffering for sure. After all, you taught me to appreciate the finer things. You keep telling yourself that, boy. But mark you my words, sooner or later, this life that you have chosen for yourself shall teach you I was right. Good talk. Good talk. And so right now, she's not here. I didn't kill her, or defeat her. So, she's not here, otherwise she would be here. Nix. Do you know anything about a softly spoken gentle being under the guise of chaos? They approached me recently and offered me a boon of sorts. Primordial chaos? Indeed, I know them well. They must have taken interest in your quest. I would advise that you beware their offerings, though know that chaos, while a trickster, is not a deceiver. I understand, I think. All right, well, that's going to be it for this video here. I'm going to do separate ones showcasing the levels, though. So, and especially the next boss. The next boss is like a snake skull thing. But that third, I think it's Elysium or something like that, um, that third level is rough. Those guys are really, really tough. So, uh, more videos coming soon. They update this, like I said, pretty often, which is awesome. It's on sale right now with the Steam Lunar Sale. I recommend getting this game if you like any... If you like Dead Cells, if you like any Diablo-style game, like, this is really, really cool. So, that is it, everybody. If you liked the video, hit the like button for me. If you want to continue to follow along with all of my content, hit the subscribe button for me. Thanks so much for watching.